Hi everyone, welcome to Film School, the online show where I teach you the tricks, tips, and techniques of being a video slash filmmaker, or as I like to call, a filmmaker. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Film School. Uh, in today's episode, um, we're going to talk about buying your first DSLR. So I'm going to try to give you the most bang out of your buck for your budget, um, for your first film camera. So let me preface also by saying that I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Uh, what I'm telling you is strictly my opinion and what I feel would be the best package for any individual starting out in film. Alright, so you've been saving your money for let's say a year or two and you really want to invest in a DSLR for making films with your friends or working a freelance gig or maybe an indie film as a DP. So you have a budget and you don't know what to invest. Well, I'm here to give you my opinion on what I think would help you make the best package you can buy. I want you guys to know also that I'm here to help and if you have any questions please comment and ask and I will help you out in any way I can. If I had the knowledge back in the day when I bought my first DSLR this this would totally be the package I would get. So what are we going to use for our faux budget is the Canon 5D Mark III with a 24 to 105 f4 lens. That whole package together is about $3,899 and zero zero cents. Side note, I used Amazon.com to uh, price out everything. So everything, all the prices that I'm going to tell you are from Amazon.com that I found. So you can find these prices also there. The camera I'm going to suggest for you to buy is the Canon 60D, the body only. Why am I suggesting the body? Because you can invest in some better lenses than the standard body kit, body kit lens they give you. Plus, the Canon 60D has a little more selection in the ISO where you can do 125, 160, uh, 320, 1250, uh, what else, 1000, I think 500, 640, things like that nature. Um, plus, you can do Kelvin, so you can do like 3200 Kelvin to all the way up to 5600, I believe. Uh, plus, it gives you the swivel screen, which I kind of like also, so if you're on the side and stuff like that. Uh, plus, it does have the same APS-C crop sensor um, camera. Uh, but remember, bodies can always be upgraded. Um, but good quality glass is what makes the image, really. So the 60D body only is about $700, $699.00. So that's about one-third of the price of buying the Canon 5D Mark III with that lens. Let's talk lenses, and I'm suggesting two lenses for you. One's a prime lens prime lens and the other is a fixed zoom lens. The prime lens I'm suggesting is the Canon 50mm f1.8 lens 2, which is about $110, which is a beautiful price point for this lens. This lens, honestly, I've used this a countless times through a lot of videos I have shot. Next lens I'm going to talk about is the Tamron 24-70mm uh, lens, which is a 2 f2.8 lens. It's also has IS, or as Tamron likes to call it, BC, which I believe means vibration compensation. This lens is about $1,299.95, no, not zero cents. And this is actually half the price than the 24 to 70 Canon uh, F2.8 II, which is about $2,000, $2,500. And that lens does not have IS or anything in it. And this uh, Tamron, I've watched reviews, I've seen people use it, and it's really good too. So, you have a body, you have two really good lenses, what else do you need? Well, think about it, wouldn't you like to invest in some lights too? Some great starlights with, would be a 1,100 uh, watt fluorescent lights, light kit, uh, two fluorescent light panels, they're about, what was it, 285 for those. Also, there are some PBL, uh, PBL has a light kit, which is a three piece light kit of 3,000 watts, so basically I believe it was 1,000 on each one and you have barn doors and some soft boxes uh, stuff to put it on and that's about $379.95. Uh, next I would recommend a flag kit where you can get an 18 to 24 inch flags like you know the one scrims, two scrims, uh, silks, black uh, so you can block some light if you have to in like the big light kits the 3000 watts. Um, but if you're going to buy that you have to also buy a C-stand. I found a kind of cheap C-stand, but a good one, uh, the Avenger C-stand, which is about uh, 195 and I forgot to mention the flag set was about 165 So basically, I would also suggest the monitor maybe too, um, 
it's always good to have because you know that that LCD screen is a little small so that's about 248 a very good one then you have a 47 inch slider which would be pretty cool which is $149 a 4 foot crane slash jib is about 179 and last but not least a flu head tripod would be ideal for any situation for any videographer which comes around $139 now that's a grand total of $3,849.72, saving you almost about $50, but I suggest buying sandbags for your light stands because you don't want them to fall over and that would be bad. And maybe a viewfinder also, just in case. So that grand total might be a little higher, but not by much, or it could be the same as the 5D Mark III package. Now think about it for, uh, for a second, buying 13 things for the same price of one thing. 13 sounds better, right? From All right. So that wraps it up for basically this episode. Check out my website for more information about buying your first DSLR package and I recommend I recommend on my blog and remember to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Also, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask like I always say. One more thing, I like to give homework every week like I typically do. So this week is, what would your camera package be if you had $3,899.00? Uh, so drop me an email, comment below, video, response me, whatever you want to do. I will give you a shout in the next video and in the blog also. So class dismissed, this is John saying have a good week and keep learning.